Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land. Well, pardon me, but I have flat lost my Christian composure tonight. It is, what time is it? Whew, it's about two o'clock in the morning. It was not Christian words that were falling out of my word, mouth tonight. I tell you what, folks, I just had enough. I've had absolutely enough of it. Pulled into this truck stop. It's basically less than half empty. Anyway, bedded down and went to sleep. About midnight, they woke me up in the middle of the night, advised me that I needed a parking pass, and it was $7.50 for a parking pass. You know, that's actually the cheapest parking pass I'd ever heard of. But you know what? Tonight, I'd had enough. I'd lost it. Oh, the words that were falling out of my mouth, I'm going to tell you, were not Christian based in any way. But I am sick and tired of the vultures and the criminals and the crap. So I went off on him. And I told him, I said, you know, normally I'm just a go along and I pay for it. But you know what? I've hit my breaking point. I ain't going to pay you a frickin' dime for the privilege to park. I said, so can I go in and buy things or do business with you or uh, do anything to compensate you for the parking? He goes, nope, you got to pay for parking. I said, nope, no, I don't. So I jumped in this beast, started her up, put her on personal conveyance, went and found me a free place to park right across the street. Pulled in here, there were some bull haulers sitting over here, and they were all standing in between their trucks drinking a cold beer. And I pulled up and rolled down the window. I said, hey, is this paid parking over here? They said, nope. I said, were you all those bull haulers I seen pull out of the parking lot across the street? And they're going, yeah, F them. <laughs> they were right there with me, man. Same thing. Woke him up in the middle of the night. So anyway, all of us bailed out of that parking lot, come over here across the street. I found a place where I slid her in underneath the tree, parking for free. And since we're all awake, I went into the truck stop and one of the other drivers was buying a 12-pack a of Bud Light and uh, I said, I tell you what, brother, I don't, uh, I don't want to do much drinking, but if I could drink one or two of those, I'll buy. So I paid for the 12 pack, and we come back out of here, and me and three bull haulers and one bottom hopper sat there and drank that uh, 12 pack of Bud Light and told stories and standing around talking the shit. Reminded me of a day a long time ago, back when driving was it was a different world, man. We lost that world, and I miss it. I miss it. But I tell you what, I'd had enough with this paid parking crap. Frickin' criminal. They wanted seven fifty tonight. Last night in Seattle, Washington, can't go any place else to park. There's no parking available. Place charged me twenty seven fifty to park for twenty four hours. The place before that was fourteen dollars. The place before that was ten dollars. I lost it. 
Tonight was the last straw. Paid parking. You know, there's a, another way to overcome these people. Tell them to kiss your ass, throw that truck into personal conveyance, go find someplace free to park. Don't pay it. Don't pay it and don't give them any business. Refuse to do business with them. You know, if you can't vote in the ballot, you can always vote with your dollar. What is that all about? Bangers was all standing out there drinking beer and Bangers was out running across the countryside. Where you been all night, dear? Where'd you go? She done been fed. Yeah, you done been fed. Got a full belly. Been out playing in the woods all night. You should be a happy pup. What are you doing out there? She's whining, going, Daddy, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Sometimes it's just hard to take, folks. You know, I feel blessed, and I feel spill, full of rotten. The job, the company I work for, what they pay me. But I'm really getting tired of people thinking they got the right to hold me at the forts of a gun and stick their hand in my pocket. I've had enough. I've had enough. All my, you know, they're forcing the independent contractor out of business. They've taken the rates to a dollar where a guy can't even pull freight without losing money. Freight rates under a dollar a mile. You know, they're, they're setting up the game. So that the only people that are going to be left in business are the big corporations, the bankers. This whole situation has become a siege. It's a new twist on the depression. You know, the depression, I call them depressions by design. It's nothing more than a land and asset grab. That's all I see what's going on right here. It's the same thing. Same thing they did in 1929. It is definitely 100% of the devil. You know, it's going to come to a point where you can either bend their knee and be their slave I'm just going to say it. Pick up a rifle and take your country back. And then I wonder if that's possible anymore. You know, the American male has been so feminized. When did men stop being men? I'm telling you, it's downright painful to watch. I'm feeling blessed, but I sure don't like what I see going on around me. And I don't know if this story's got a happy ending. Anyway, y'all have a good night.